Bill and Rosalie Furler, Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. I hope you have a great day. We're celebrating 51 years of being married. That's our greatest victory, you know. Our greatest victory is 51 years in the days that we're living in. We decided to be in it for the long haul. And of course, we're enjoying the journey. It's the way to go. That's the way to go. We give God all the praise and all the glory. That's the way to go. There must be things that we're doing right, Rosalie. I think we can share some keys with our friends today that may help them too. Gentlemen, give your wife flowers. They love flowers. Wherever you get them from, you can pick them from the road. <laughs> Anywhere, but just give them flowers. On the special occasions, we're going for a drive in the country and we're on our way to Montville. We're looking for a good restaurant, somewhere where we could both enjoy a good old Aussie pie. The main thing is to keep love alive in your marriage. Just whatever you do, we just love doing certain things together and whether it's to go for a walk in a park or go and watch the birds or enjoy life itself and just keep that love and keep that flame burning. One of the main keys is just to be committed to one another. You know, just like this old wheel is just round and round and round for the big old haul, the big grind. And But we're committed to one another and I think each partner wants to know if they're committed to the other person. Even when you're old and grey and you know you're not the same as you were when you were young and she was beautiful and I was handsome, you know, but we need to maintain that honour and that respect Wow, but she is looking beautiful today, isn't she? And I'm not looking too bad either. <laughs> Just starting to shake a bit though. Maybe maybe it's you shaking holding the camera. <laughs> anyway, you're looking beautiful today, Rosalie. Hey, just look at these pies now, and they smell so good. Good old Aussie pie, hard to beat. Yeah, keep the flame of your marriage just alive and let it burn and just keep burning. All we need is some good accommodation for the night. Hey, I think I'll give this a miss anyway. <laughs> well, oh, this looks better. What do you reckon? This is such a beautiful part of the world. I hope you're enjoying it. Another key we have found is to live at peace with one another, to maintain the harmony of the Holy Spirit and spend time praying together. There's power in agreement, there's power in harmony. I mean, every single day we have to make decisions. We like to have harmony in those decisions. We like to feel one another out, how the other person feels. Uh, sometimes we come to places where the roads divide and we need to know what road to go on. We may have to today in this beautiful, oh, here's a, here's a road here. One goes one way and one goes the other way. <laughs> well, if one wants to go one way and the other wants to go the other way, we're going to finish up in two different places. We need to be in harmony when we make a decision. We're enjoying this beautiful rainforest. Hey, let's continue to enjoy it together. In the book of Proverbs, it says, only by pride comes contentions. Ephesians 4.26 says, do not let the sun go down on your anger. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Be forgiving one to another. Be kind one to another. Be tender hearted. Don't get hard hearted in marriage, but be tender-hearted, kind, forgiving one another, even as we have been forgiven in Christ Jesus. Never give up on your marriage. Never ever give up on your marriage. I believe the best is yet to come. Oh, Rosalie, let's just keep cruising along. Yes, let's. <laughs>